what people are clicking on and the things that they're opening that changes so if you're trying to divine what it is that they're interested in those were that's where those cues are very different uh so an email that they you know an email about a certain you know it's clearly about a certain kind of product that they might not have been interested in you know earlier in the year that they're suddenly opening that change of interest signaling that's the biggest change in the data but in terms of the uh overall sort of like if you're looking at sort of the macro numbers uh engagement generally tends to do quite well during the holiday season even though uh cadence is is through the roof <laughs> like right you're sending a lot more campaigns uh but engagement tends to stay pretty steady which is a very positive sign that email marketers in general are doing a very good job of sort of matching the interest to their cadence right like that's you know i mentioned earlier that you know email marketing is great at sort of amplifying existing business trends right and amplifying interest that's already there and so it would be very problematic if um if marketers sent many more messages during the holiday season and they saw their their open rates and click rates tank but that's not generally what we see is that we see that there's heightened interest from subscribers and so they generally welcome the increase in messages because they're in the market to buy and they're looking for ideas they're looking for gift guides they're looking for discounts you know they're looking for guidance and so you tend to see the engagement rates hold pretty firm you also tend to see the unsubscribe rates uh, generally dip during the holiday season which is another sign that you know as much as i think some people worry about increases in volume um that generally subscribers welcome it you know you want to keep a very close eye on on <laughs> on the numbers and on the engagement and unsubscribe rates uh, in particular but um you know in general again you're sending more volume when people are in the market and generally speaking you know subscribers welcome that because it's in line with their increased interest so that's sort of the those are the two ways that the data is changing sort of macro you know we see that engagement holds up to higher volume but in terms of what people are clicking on and opening in their browse behavior you know post click that can be wildly different and so you need to be very careful about how you use that data you know to personalize emails uh to send segmented emails that's where things get a little bit dicey and why you see a lot of brands generally kind of pull back on their personalization and segmentation efforts uh and send out sort of more broadcast campaigns now now that said um in in my mind there's three things you can do to create relevant emails right you can personalize you can segment and you can automate. And automation is the star of the holiday season. So segmentation and personalization I think become, you know, secondary because again the data is is hard to use and unreliable less reliable because of these changing consumer behaviors. But automation is fantastic, you know, so especially for retailers, e-commerce companies. So browse abandonment emails, cart abandonment emails, check out abandonment emails. You know, these are superstar automations for the holiday season that really perform at super high levels. So automation is one of the things that we preach really hard here at Oracle Marketing Consulting to make sure you have those campaigns in place going into the holiday season that you've maybe you know taken some time to optimize them maybe do some ab testing and more so one of the things that i think not enough brands do is to make them seasonally relevant right so going into those those automations seeing if there's opportunities to add in some seasonal messaging some seasonal imagery to really put those emails in the context of the holiday season so that when someone you know abandons a cart you know in mid november you're kind of assuming that they're in holiday mode they're probably gift buying all right what does that holiday shopper need to know and what sort of um you know image are you looking to sort of portray and so if you put it in the context of holiday shopping uh you know they might be interested in you know some type of financing uh certainly the um you know the uh 
uh, the buy now, pay later uh, thing is very big <laughs> right now. So there might you know, be really responsive to that kind of messaging. And also, you know, adding in, you know, secondary messaging about gift guides or the most popular searches on your website, you know, giving them guidance to, you know, what are people shopping for right now or recommendations that you have for the holiday season for gifts uh, or, you know, gift wrapping services or other kinds of things that, you know, play in into the holidays. That can be really powerful. Not nearly enough brands take the time to do that. And I think that's a big missed opportunity.